uh, this is Vargas back again with another stuff uh, collection video. Um, I would have added also a movie uh, pickup video, but two weeks ago I did buy stuff from Movie Free Bazaar, but uh, with the whole health situation, my wife doesn't want me to go. You know, I only go out for work because I have to work, you know, otherwise I can't feed my family. But uh, I can't go out to pick up the stuff that I bought two weeks ago from Movie Freak. Because this week he didn't have an online sale, uh, but he did open today and he's going to open tomorrow. But I haven't been able, I, I can't go out of the house to pick up the stuff. So uh, I have that uh, video that I need to record. Because I picked up a lot of really cool stuff with him two weeks ago. And, and, and I want to pick up that stuff because I want to see the stuff that I picked up. And, and I want to share it with you guys. But um, I, I need to go because he doesn't know if he's going to keep opening the store. And he already said he's not going to have an online sale until the 13th of April. So, so yeah, I, I desperately need to go pick up my stuff before, you know, shit hits the fan and I can't get my stuff. But um, this week, flea markets are non-existent. Uh, there are no flea market. So this is old stuff that I picked up two weeks ago. So let's get started. Uh, I don't remember talking about these and I'm pretty sure I didn't because I had to wash them. But I picked up for my son a, a Donatello in a plushy Donatello in like a ball form. Uh, in this kind of uh, way, I, I already bought Leonardo, and uh, I bought him the Raphael that lights up. So technically, we're only missing Michelangelo. But I would like to get all four in in this little um, way because the other one's just like the head, and this one is actually a a, a fat uh, body Donatello, like fat body Leonardo. Also picked up this glove. It's a uh, glove from a costume, I think. I I'm a short guy. I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm basically comic book Wolverine size. Uh, so it does fit, but it doesn't quite go all the way down. This is made entirely for a kid, so this will work great for my daughter or my son. Uh, also picked this one up because I saw it and I was like, why not? It's a rainbow poo hat. Do I need a rainbow poo hat? No, probably not, but... You know, my wife has, uh, she's a teacher, so she has uh, certain times of the year when she has a dress up with a crazy hat and she can borrow this. And I, I thought it looked cool. It's a rainbow poo hat. My daughter liked it a lot, so yeah. Also picked up uh, this piranha peat. It's not a piranha peat, it's a piranha plant. Piranha peat's a different thing altogether. Uh, this was part of something because it... It looks like it has a base, but I can build a base, uh, like a uh, warp uh, tube. But I thought it looked pretty cool. I also picked this one up. Uh, this is a part of a two-pack or a two-piece set that Think Geek made for Alien. It's a, a chest burster plushie. Uh, it has wire on the tail, so you can uh, adjust it any way you want. And uh, it's pretty long. It's it's actually pretty pretty long. And uh, there's also the face hugger that they released, and if I ever come across that, I would totally buy it because the face hugger looks amazing in plushy form. Uh, but yeah, it's a chest burst. I don't have that much um, alien uh, collectibles, here, oddly enough. Uh, picked up for my wife something to keep her busy during the quarantine. Uh, this is a Harry Potter 4D uh, 892 piece uh, puzzle. I don't know where the four part, 4D part comes into it because it's just a puzzle and it has foam pieces that you have to build and then um, little models for Hogwarts and uh, the buildings and everything like that. So I don't know where the 4D comes in. This is a 3D puzzle. Or, I don't know. Marketing, I guess. Um, also picked up this Pokemon belt, which is made for kids and in no way will fit my uh, fat, short ass. <laughs> uh, believe me, I actually tried it and it doesn't fit. But I'm thinking uh, my uh, my kid could use it, and if not, I can use it like a, a bandolier. I think it's a bandolier, yeah. And I picked up two Pokeballs. A Master Ball, which is the best Pokeball you can get in the game. Uh, no Pokemon can escape it, which is why usually, usually you only get one. And uh, this other ball, which I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Um, I only know the... The, the normal ones, the, the red and white one, which is the Pokeball, the Ultra Ball, the Mega Ball, and the Master Ball. 
Because I grew up with uh, the first generation of Pokemon, and they introduced a whole bunch of different Pokeballs. Um, this, I'm, I'm adding pieces to a pirate costume. Uh, last time I think I showed the pirate pistol that I got. This time I picked up a, a key chain set. <clears throat> it's a skull and crossbones with uh, various sized keys for opening chests or, you know, getting out of prison. Uh, probably from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, ride, you know, because uh, I remember it, it, it had like, uh, it, it, the Pirates would try to get the dog to give them the key and it looked kind of like this. I'm thinking I can put this on the side uh, along with the, with the blaster on a belt. Um, picked up Blue from Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, I have a, a small dinosaur collection from Jurassic Park and other dinosaurs that I've picked up through the years, which is now part of my son has the dinosaur collection, but the one dinosaur I never had was a, a Velociraptor, and I saw blue here, and I was like, well, I'm going to pick it up because it's cheap, and it's uh, the, the one dinosaur I don't have, so awesome. Also uh, picked up, Jaws is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. And uh, I have two shark figures, but uh, the old uh, shark figure from SeaWorld, which I always used as Jaws, and then I picked up the shark figure from Finding Nemo. I think it was a McDonald's toy. Uh, but no nothing that really looks like Jaws until I found this guy. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure this is not a universal uh, figure, because it doesn't say universal anywhere. It only says Toys R Us there. But it looks like Jaws. It, it, has it's a great white so it's it's jaws but it has the chomp 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 so it can chew up people and it also has a lot of really neat battle damage molded into the figure this is this is this was made like that so it does look like this shark's been to hell and back so I'm 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 gonna say this is my jaws figure because it looks like jaws dun 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 ah shit so yeah I have a Nice Jaws figure to go with all my horror figures. Also picked up um, Volume 2 of the DuckTales TV show, the 25th Anniversary Edition. This, oddly enough, it's Volume 2, but it has the pilot, sorry, and 19 episodes. So I don't think this particular set is chronologically correct. I'm pretty sure, because if this is Volume 2 and it has the pilot, the pilot should be in Volume 1. So that's weird. But I love DuckTales. I actually was a, 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 I love DuckTales, but I also like Darkwing Duck a lot. Um, that was pretty cool, so definitely like DuckTales. Uh, for the PlayStation 3, it's been a while since I've bought a PlayStation 2 game. And it seems to have a little bit of water damage, but I picked, not the disc, but the casing. But I picked up uh, Thunderstrike, uh, Operation Phoenix. Uh, I love the Thunderstrike games on the Super Nintendo. I don't know how it plays on PlayStation 2. So I'll see how that plays. Uh, picked up SimCity Creator. Not a super huge fan of the SimCity. Uh, they they kind of stress me out because it's too much stuff that you have to do in the games. and Too much stuff that you have to watch out for. You have to micromanage a whole bunch of stuff. And that kind of gets on my nerves after a while. The best SimCity game I've ever played is the one on Super Nintendo. But it, I got it cheap for the Wii. I was like, I'll, I'll add it to the collection. And I uh, finally picked up Rampage Total Destruction on the Wii. Uh, love it on the arcades. I think I own it on the Nintendo. And I'm still missing it on 64. But uh, I didn't have this on Wii and I have it now. Uh, this one also includes the original. Actually has two. Rampage and Rampage World Tour included. So that's an extra cool bonus. Awesome, awesome. Cause it, it's like King Kong and Godzilla. And uh, actually the Rampage movie was, was a, a lot of fun. I, I'm really surprised how good that movie was. And uh, the last thing I picked up, two things I picked up. Um, when I get really hardcore into collecting something, I go all out. And for a while I got really into collecting Nerf guns. And I still buy the occasional gun. If, if it's a Star Wars blaster, I'll pick it up. Or if it's something that I know is super expensive and I find super cheap, I'll pick it up. Um, I have cut down on the Nerf blasters because I promised my wife I would because they do occupy a lot of space. I've even sold off a, cu a couple of uh, Nerf blasters here and there. 
Um, but I found these two and I couldn't pass them up. Uh, this is the Nerf and uh, Elite uh, Infinis. Um, this is basically a Rapid Strike internals. Uh, but this has the gimmick that if you put a magazine in here, uh, and you can load darts here, you can put your darts here, and it auto loads the magazine. So that was pretty cool. Uh, this retailed originally for 80 bucks, and, uh, many months ago I saw it in the flea market in box for 300 pesos, which is, uh, 25 bucks. Uh, and I didn't have the 300 pesos at the time, otherwise I would have bought it. But I ended up finding this one, and it works. It runs out of five, four D batteries, and um, I already tried it out, and it does work. And uh, I've got this for two dollars and fifty cents. So an eighty dollar blaster bought for two dollars and fifty cents is pretty cool. I love that I found this. I love the look of it. I can totally rock this as a, you know, a. a because I I'm also building Call of Duty costume. I like building costumes. I don't like buying costumes up front. I like building them. And uh, I almost have a Call of Duty costume. Uh, I I'm uh, I need to complete. So I have a number of assault rifle looking things. But this one is is pretty cool. I like how it looks. Very futuristic. I might be able to do something more like a sci-fi soldier with this gun. But functionality is is amazing. That you can you know uh, just it, it comes with a, it, it came with a thirty drum. Uh, 30 dart drum that unfortunately it didn't come with but uh, I, you can put in any magazine actually I found this magazine it's a 10 dart magazine obviously from the zombies uh, strike line because it has like barbed wire but you can just pull it, push this little button here pull the magazine any magazine and there you go and you can put darts here and it all loads it's it's great uh, but it was a hefty 80 bucks when it came out and again, I bought it for two dollars and fifty cents. So, hell yeah! I, the minute I saw that, I was like, "How much? Oh, fifty pesos! Take my money!" And I ran away almost. <laughs> but it's cool. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. I love this grip here. <sighs> awesome! I just love the way that looks. And the other thing I picked up is from Zombie Strike. The, I was just mentioning that the brain saw. Uh, this is basically just a rough cut reshell with worse internals than the rock cuts from what I've seen uh, a blaster that got blasted in reviews a lot of people didn't like it but I like the look of it I like uh, it came with a little string thing here that you would pull and it would make this thing you know move like that but obviously this is used so that broke oh, my battery there you go uh, that broke it's, it's not part of it but you can still I can still open it up add a string and then just pull it like that. Uh, but I like it. Uh, it's a gun made into a chainsaw. So the minute I saw this, I was like, that looks a lot like that Gears of War uh, Lancer. I don't have an Xbox. I haven't played Gears of War. But I like the look of that blaster. And this one immediately reminded me of that. So I, I saw a video tutorial from Evil Ted where he grabbed one of these guns and painted it really cool. So I'm, I want to do that. And uh, repaint this and use it at, at like a prop, uh, either like a proper chainsaw for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing, or like a Lancer from Gears of War. So I'm I need to see what color scheme I want to get that. But I, I I like it. I thought it was really cool. Uh, is it super functional? Oh, probably not. A rough cut I've heard is way better than this, but it still looks. I think it looks pretty pretty gnarly. But yeah, another blaster. Big blaster, my wife was not happy when I bought that, but because they these big blasters do occupy a bunch of space that I don't have, but I don't care, because they're cool. This one was super cheap, the Infinite was super cheap, and that one was not as cheap, but it looked cool, so yeah. So yeah, that was the stuff pickup video that I got uh, two weeks ago. Like I said, this week, the only thing, I haven't picked up anything this week, actually. Um... But I still have some stuff at the house that I need to record, so uh, I take it back. You you will see more stuff pickups, but they won't be new. Uh, this is the last new stuff pickup video I'll be able to get for the foreseeable future. But I do have some board games to talk about. I do have uh, some movies that I've bought, but I've put in storage and I haven't recorded. And I still have two weeks 
uh, from two weeks ago, the awesome movies I picked up for Movie Premium Bazaar. So, I take it back. You you will end up seeing more pickups in my channel. So, yeah. Ignore what I said at the beginning of the video. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And until I see you all again with more old pickup videos, uh, take care, be safe, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.